want to have me another little animal story here. You know how I like to t tell you these little animal stories. Uh, <laughs> uh, here, actually, I'll, I'll tell you Indian animal story real quick because I just remembered it. It's called, uh, it's this dude. There was this Indian dude, and he went out hunting, and he was in the woods, basically. And he was sitting there, you know, waiting for an animal in ambush. And a giant freaking moose came out. And basically, it was like a, it was almost like that movie Ghost in the Darkness, where uh, these lions almost had, like, beef with the people around there. <laughs> and this thing came at him in such a way where it was like, basically what he had to do is he he uh went into a place where there was like it was barely enough space to move for him so it slowed down the beast uh the wild moose and i mean these things are freaking big 1200 pounds with the big basically tree on its face that it can swing at you like this uh and and uh he this thing kept pursuing him to the, and he basically had to take a stick tie his knife to it, you know, like, Indians always had some, some, uh, they, they could just snatch off a piece of their, uh, freaking, uh, shirt, man, because they had the fringes on it, basically, or, you know, or the, uh, that's pretty, uh, practical, huh? uh, anyway, so, and he had a long, a long process of, he had to, like, stab it over and over and over, and it took forever to kill it, and then, when he came home, uh, you know, the, the tribe went out there to go look, you know, help him get some more meat, you know, and some uh, sinew and some bone or whatever, dude. You know, they made axes out of their uh, shoulder blades. So, uh, two axes and one animal. Four, actually. Wow, that's pretty. I'm just kind of pimp. Um, anyway, uh, they, they called that place, man. I'm not sure where it's at, but uh, it's called the Field of Blood They call it because it looked like a... It looked like a war was fought there, and it was just from this dude fighting off this freaking uh, uh, mad moose uh, on the on the attack, man. Uh, but all right, there's a little animal story. Uh, but the real story is this: uh, all right, we had a cat back when I was growing up, and his name was Jojo. And uh, poor Jojo, when he was a younger cat. Uh, he went and chewed on a freaking wire, and this is back in the day, the telephone wire and the cable wires. If you chew it out, you know, if you touch the wrong shit, it still had some, uh, some, uh, some zap, and then that'll whap you. And basically, when this cat bit down, he got electrocuted, and his teeth were all, like, blown out. Like, uh, all his teeth kind of stuck outwards at a real, uh, a real uh, cute angle, man. Like, uh, and it was strange. And, and he was kind of also a little slow in the head. Like, he wasn't like the other cats, you know. He wasn't as sharp as the other cats. He was kind of, uh, he was prone f for, uh, you know, stupid behavior, basically. But he was a great cat. And uh, poor cat got ran over. Uh, it was like Grandpa came home. He said he just got paid and he was feeling great. And on the way in, he ran over his own cat and had to bury it that day. And he was so sad about that. I remember just the look of, uh, he was just, it hurt. And, uh, a sad cat story. Uh, but another nugget out of this cat story here is why are animals drawn to electrical cords? Because I've seen this done in all kinds of dog. Pit bulls like to go right for electronics. Uh, when I make these time-lapse videos, it's almost like the cats can freaking hear something or they know something's going on that we don't, and they're drawn to the freaking camera. Uh, I've seen this in, uh, wild footage of, like, polar bears. They can't develop a, a machine good enough to trick the animals. It's like, uh, I, it's like, uh, the bear pictures up north. Animals are always looking dead at the camera, it seems like, or a lot of times they are. I mean, I guess I'd need to look into that deeper and see how often are they actually looking away from the camera. But it could be they're so quick that the flash, as the flash happens, they're already looking. 
at the camera? I mean, I'm not sure. Or do they actually hear like a buzz? Like, you know how I always make these videos about hearing freaking frequencies in the air? And it just like when your ear starts ringing. But you'll have, you, it'll happen like in a different way, a subtle way. And, and look, there's towns in uh, southwest U.S. where they say there's a humming coming out of the ground. And, every, and it makes everyone sick. I mean, that is, that's, that's real shit. Harmonics is real. If you're getting buzzed with the wrong frequency, it can have real bad effects on you. Look into music and plants. Uh, how the wrong music does affect plants. You can look in the mystery of water, same thing here. You know, it's funny how all these things, man, uh, once you know it like that, man, it's just like you're already there in all these places. Heart machine. Uh... But yeah, just uh, another instance of why are the animals drawn to the freaking cords? Is is there are they do they like electricity? Uh, do they hear something that they're trying to stop the the hum? Uh, they're attacking, you know. Uh, what's attacking them? I was watching the bird the other day. I seen how it dropped down, and it freaking moved moved the leaf, and then it grabbed a worm and flew off. And I was like. How in the frick did that bird know that that worm was under there? And, you know, I mean, I mean, the, the, you know, and psychic spiders, all this uh, stuff, uh, animal, internet, bird freaking. I was bird freaking pretty good with this bird earlier today. And it's not an exact science, man. I mean, sometimes it works. Sometimes I'm just learning how to whistle and uh, get better at whistling. But <coughs> I think there's something about... Uh, your intentions as well. Uh, the animals can sense it, maybe. Uh, there is like some kind of psychic or harmonic type of uh, uh, exchange. Uh, or maybe it's something else. Maybe just, you know, like I said, the, maybe the animals are love entertainment. Like I, I heard someone said, mention horses. If you leave your stuff hanging on the dang... Uh, on the pen they're trapped in, they'll go grab it and then throw it around and stomp on it. Like, they like to play. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they like to play around. Or even, uh, I used to stay out in this place where the next door neighbor had, a, uh, they had ponies. And at night, when I used to, I used to do some hard stepping, uh, when I was doing my, uh, you know, my, my, uh, my kung fu. One night, this dang horse it started knocking its foot when I just made this uh, hard foot movement where it made a stomping sound. The uh, horse started doing it back at me. And uh, and sometimes when I would breathe, it, you know, I'd take deep breaths or something out there. It seemed like, it seems like the animals can hear it. They're, they can hear, uh, that's another component to it, that... Uh, the animals potentially, I know for sure they have way good senses of hearing. Uh, so, it could just be a hearing thing. Like maybe uh, they can, worms make a little sound that nothing else can hear like these bugs. Like right now, they are really, the crickets are really uh, rolling. Like last night, it sounded insane, the crickets. Like. It was. It, it almost sounded like when someone's snoring really loud back and forth, like they're moving furniture. It, it straight up was like that. It was like real heavy and loud. Look, then it just it just cut out for a second. You can hear the frogs. Whoa, yeah, that's real weird. Crickets. Uh, that's animal internet. For instance, all animals do uh, do kind of sing a song. And only other animals of that species sing the, the, either the male song or the female song. And then it seems like they sing a song together uh, when they're looking for one another, uh, in another in, in nature. So if these things be true in nature like that, there should be certain aspects of it that are true in other things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so... Uh, these are more animal internet uh, or and then uh, I wonder why, man. Animals are prone to chewing the cords, though. Uh, it, it, well, here they do kind of 
look, they do look kind of like a snake. Uh, I've been able to trick animals into thinking things were uh, alive when they're not. You know, I mean, cats are real easy to confuse with that. So the, any, they basically jump at anything that moves. So it's not hard. You could fake them out with anything almost. Uh, but no, these are the things you ponder. Cause even, you know, uh, like, uh, the Bible, uh, describes Jesus as a lamb and also a lion. So it's like, this is, this is also a way you communicate biblically is by understanding nature and animals and creation because creation is evidence of the handiwork of its creator and how he set everything up. Everything gets fed. There's all kinds of good things here, but yet man just abuses it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that God isn't good. It's just man abuses what he's, God has given us. And we don't take these things into consideration like we should. The workings of things and why things are the way they are and what does what it does for what reasons. Kind of like uh, look at the ant and consider its ways. Ponder these things and, and learn what is useful from it. Because it was intended for you to know. And it's like, listen, if the devil's knowledge is so great, why didn't he teach people these things? <laughs> Why does he want everyone to uh, not know these things? So, once again, and God reiterates it constantly uh, as well as life does itself. Because this is God's creation. It's just man. Not man alone. There is entities and forces uh, at work also through men and by men. They sabotage this thing. And they attempt to blame it on uh, basically whoever they want to be, want to kill. Uh, it's quite sickening. I mean, uh, that's why you come become wise, man. It's how could you become wise and not be sorrowful when you know, like how good things should be. And then you see how they are contrarily and for what reasons. And it's, it, it hurts. It's painful. It's a hard pill to swallow. That's why a lot of people shy away from knowledge, and I understand that, and wisdom. Because it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard to know and bear and uh, not let it eat you up sometimes. So, you know, you got to fill it with these other things, the good lessons as well, so you can handle the things that are hard to handle. Uh, you can't just look at all the bad constantly and then get discouraged, sorrowful, feel like committing suicide. Feel like there's no perfect purpose. Everything's a sick joke. Even the animals are laughing at you. Uh, that's because you know, in a way, it kind of is because you know it's the 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 real stuff is right there, right, right there in front of you, right beyond your perception for some reason. So everything is kind of laughing at you. The fact that look, you know, but that's part of. They do that because you're close. Right on the other side of that, man, there's a there's something you can't see. There's something in the way at certain times letting you see what you need to see, the, the important part. You might see this or that. Then that's all you focus on. And then that is what actually blocks you from your blessing right on the other side of that. Uh, that. It's like it's like in football, man, when they throw a bunch of dudes out in a line and they're trying to stop you from getting through. It's like that. There's a wave of resistance there. And if you make it too far, there's all these other stragglers waiting to try to hit you, too. So, I mean, that's another reason why people shy away. You know, uh, it's basically like a pack of wolves or a pride of lions, too, is, is that technique there. And it really is like that or a bee's nest. Uh, you can see the 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 more destructive apps, aspects of nature, and uh, but at least in the animal kingdom, for the most part, it's not without cause. Like uh, it is in man. Man can just do it because he feels like it. But animals pretty do shit out of necessity, and they don't vary too much from that. And. Uh, uh, 
I just had a brain fart. I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to end this now. <laughs>